Today I'm going to teach you how to create, buy and create your own website using GoDaddy. And if you're a student, uh, it's I suggest that you use a debit card instead of a credit card and just apply to any East West bank in your area. The good thing about a uh, debit card in East West is that they only require 100 pesos opening account and 100 pesos maintaining account. And if you're in Cebu, uh, this is Ayala Center and this is East West at the ground floor of Quest Hotel. So, um, by the way, I'd like you to check this personal website, rinalinibali.net rubycasaris.com and emiliabing.com so let's start with first with buying your own website just click the godaddy banner it will take you to the godaddy page then uh, click hosting ssl then click web hosting on sale then it says economy 183 pesos per month one website 100 gigabyte storage unlimited unlimited bandwidth 100 email and three domain so click add cart the plan type is economy hosting then it's 12 months good for 12 months the operating system is linux then you can check this one if your if your website is commercial or business website but if you're only planning to buy your your personal website using your full name you don't have to buy this or to click so click continue so it says add your free domain let's just say for example this is your uh, full name jando mars then let's check if this is available it says jando mars.com is available so add and continue So, review your current order. The Linux hosting is good for 12 months. So, 184 pesos times 12 is 2207. Then, the com is good for one year. Uh, this is free. So, there's no additional payment there. And, it's... Uh, for personal information protection it says keep my personal info public if this is your if for example this is a pers personal website so I just keep my personal info in public because uh, anyway uh, the, the registrant and the domain name uh, should be the same but if this is a, a commercial or business website you can check this private domain private privacy for 359 per year so let's proceed to check out so this is the the total amount 2216 then proceed to check out since you are a new customer just click this continue new customer continue button then fill up your billing information, first name, last name, postal, uh, country, then email address. Uh, be sure to double check your email address because uh, this is the email address that the hosting will contact your uh, email, the, the hosting package information, then username, then password then pin 
Then, it says credit card, debit card. You can just use debit card. Put your debit, debit card number here, the security code at the back of your debit card. The name, the expiration date. And you can check this as an express check out for future purchases. Means that you will use this debit card number every time you purchase anything from this hosting company. Then, once you click continue, uh, you will not be billed yet because uh, you will still have to confirm the the total amount just continue here then uh, they will email you uh, they will uh, con they will congratulate you for your purchase and you need to check your email for the hosting information so let's just say you already check your email and receive your uh, receive your username and password so you have to log in to your account then this will be the look of the uh, dashboard for GoDaddy then it says web hosting so you need to click this one web hosting you can click this uh, plus sign which is a drop down uh, sign or click launch once you click launch it will open your hosting account for example I bought my uh, real estate website janbell.com uh, this is the dashboard for my uh, hosting for janbell.com then we will install you need to install WordPress this is the platform that enables you to write insert images and uh, videos into your website so click that one let's say you already click WordPress uh, this will be the WordPress installation panel so just click John Bill for the domain which you will install your new WordPress uh, website uh, this is an example so this is supposed to be John Doe Mars.com, but since I'm not buying jandomars.com, I'm just giving you an example for my own domain, jandbill.com. By the way, jandbill.com, I already installed uh, WordPress into jandbill.com, which is my primary uh, uh, folder, jandbill.com. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, create a new folder for for this example. And I also created a password for my database. Just follow this instruction for how to create a password database. I mean database password. Uh, this is my sample. Capital P. Sharp. Then number 5. Then at. These are the allowed uh, password letters and characters. Then just once you paste the passwords just click next then it says uh, should I install it in my into my new folder yes I, I will install it in my new folder since I already have installed it in my main in my main folder which is the janville.com and janville.com slash wordpress this is our example folder uh, I will install the new WordPress here you can just name anything uh, name the folder anything you want let's say Jando Mars for example Jando Mars so let's click next so I will just enter here admin as the admin name and for the admin password I will just put admin uh, sharp 5 at today then the email is your email you just input your email here. in the blog title my new workplace website then click finish
sorry turn to go daddy the page the page you are undoing it is there so there was an error